it's official. Three-time Grammy Award winner R. Kelly will be performing at the opening ceremony at the 2010 FIFA World Cup. I asked him just how the fever is catching on in his home country. Man, it is everywhere. In Chicago, everywhere I go, people are calling me about it. You know, they say, man, I heard you doing the World Cup. And I ain't gonna lie, I've been bragging myself. Yeah, you know I'm opening up the World Cup, you know. And, uh, you know, I can't take y'all with me, but uh, hope y'all watching. So I'm telling everybody, but everybody seems to already know, man, everywhere. It's, it's, it's the biggest thing I've ever been involved with. It really is. That's the sign of a victory. R. Kelly will be performing the song, Sign of a Victory, with South Africa's very own Soweto Spiritual Choir. The song is inspired by the football passion being generated around the 2010 FIFA World Cup. This is my World Cup, musically, you know, and uh, I'm just glad to be a part of it, man. You know, I'm very honored to be a part of this, you know, and I, I couldn't believe that the song was chosen myself. I believe I can fly, but I couldn't believe that this particular song was chosen, although I felt it was uh, custom made for this particular event. Yeah, at first it was all about soccer, and it still is, but I, I definitely, as always, I would want my song to be beyond what I wrote it for and, you know, perhaps go and touch people around the world and inspire people, you know, in, in any way. But I was definitely inspired by the World Cup itself. You know, I went out and got books on soccer because I didn't really know much about soccer, you know. Coming up in Chicago, I was pretty much into basketball and then other sports after that. But I went and got books from, you know, Borders and, I mean, you know, the bookstores and, you know, watch soccer, when it's, it's all vindictive and all of that stuff. And I just started really getting into it because I believe in doing my research for something this big. So, and immediately, two days later, the song just started coming to me, Sign of Victory. R. Kelly went to great lengths to get inspired for Sign of Victory. I got a lot of grass, put it all in my studio, uh, got a lot of African books and, 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 and animals and things like that around my studio. No one could enter my studio unless they had on a certain outfit that looked like they were from Africa. And for a whole month, I trapped myself in the studio until the spirit of Africa entered my heart. And that, from there, I went on to write a whole African song. And right now, we're calling it Epic. I try to put my heart and soul into it so people can feel not R. Kelly, not Robert, just but um, the spirit of the world, you know, and, and people coming together. That's what it's about. Because if you look at the news and you see all of this stuff going on, and uh, it, it's just crazy no matter where you go. And, and I believe that music can guide us and lead us into a world of peace, you know, such as I talk about on the song, um, Sound of the Big catch the entire performance right before the start of the opening game of the 2010 FIFA World Cup. I have a better respect, a much more broader respect for soccer, football, and uh, right now because of this whole World Cup. And that's what it's all about, my music being able to take me places that I never thought that I would go. And, you know, I'm overwhelmed that I'm a part of this. <laughs> 